Uh, yeah, it's done. Now I am the new queen of this school. <laughs> Why is she the queen and I'm not? But my love, wait, don't be so sad. Oh gosh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> oh no, please no. <laughs> <laughs> this loser has always deserved it. Hey, Kevin, Julie, you are my servants now. Obey me. Uh, whatever you say, queen. Hey, we'll do whatever you want, my friend. Well, I was actually thinking that I need a king. And that will be Max. Uh, Violetta, but he did go with Susie. But how? Really? Oh, and what about me? But he's Susie's boyfriend. Yeah? Uh, well, it won't be for long. Well, don't stop. <laughs> I just don't understand why this awful girl Violetta won the queen title and I didn't. Darling, it's good to see you here. <laughs> Max, why did you come all the way here? You better go to the ceremony. You will see the brand new queen. I don't need that queen, because I already have you. But I'm a loser. You don't need a girlfriend like me. Everybody knows how Violetta really won the crown. She just bought it. Uh, are you sure? That's obvious. And you are the real queen. My beautiful queen. Oh, I'm so lucky to have you with me. I say the same. Violetta, you're the best friend ever. We're really glad you won the crown. Uh, stop it. Stop that. I'm flattered. Oh no. We're telling the honest truth. <laughs> Darling, I'll buy you your favorite cocktail so you don't get sick again. Thank you, sweetie. I don't understand. Are they crazy or what? Kevin, Julie, get your hands off me. Violetta? What does she want to do now? Um, I don't know. Max, I don't understand anything. Why are you touching this poor girl? Violetta, you'd better watch your tongue. Let's see. Being a queen, I can choose the king I want. I have thought about it and decided that that king will be you. Hey! Don't you want to at least ask for my opinion? I'm not going to ask anyone anything. I'll do what I want. Um, Max, I need to go now. Hold on, Susie. I'm going with you. And you, Violetta, the fact that you are the queen of the school does not give you the right to command people. And now we're leaving. Mm, has he gone crazy or what? Oh, oh no. no. He rejected me? No, this is unbelievable! Hmm. Uh, well, Violetta, don't be upset. All boys dream of a girlfriend just like you. Look at yourself. Uh, yeah, you don't need that Max guy. You don't understand anything. I really want him. I'll steal him from that loser. <sighs> and now get out of here. Uh. I want to be alone. Uh-huh. I hope Violetta doesn't do something silly. Yeah, you're right. When she's mad, she's capable of anything. Uh, well, I suggest we don't go off and watch it from afar. Uh-huh, that's a good idea. Mm. Okay, here's your backpack. See you after school. Uh, I'll see you after school. Uh, I'm so lucky to have him. He's the best boyfriend in the world. I greet you again, competitor. Hey, Violetta, what do you want? I came to talk to you about something important. It's a good thing that Max isn't here. There's no one to protect you. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you anymore. 
I'm not asking you to talk to me. Just look at me and listen carefully. I am the queen and you are nothing. Max will be mine. Is that clear? But he and I love each other. Did you look in the mirror? Who could love a girl like you? But Max... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You are useless and miserable. Is that clear? Oh, let me go! Let me go! Oh no, I was afraid this would happen. Um, I think we got here just in time. Hey, Violetta! You'll be alone. Understood, girl. Um, we have to go now, queen. There are some important things to do. Why have you come? Can't you see I'm having a conversation? But your fans are waiting for you. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay, you are very lucky. Remember that I am always watching you. Don't you even dare come near my Max, you silly girl. Oh no, that's what I was afraid of. Now not only has Violetta won the title of queen, but she's also trying to steal Max from me. <laughs> Why did I deserve that? <laughs> mm, I'm not in the mood thanks to that Susie. Oh wow, is that Max? He is so alone. I am going to take a chance. Hey, Max. No, where did you come from? I see you are a little sad. Don't you want to talk about us? I'm not sad. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm leaving. Wait. <laughs> I want to tell you something very important. What are you doing? Sorry, I couldn't contain myself. Max, you really have no idea how much I love you. But I don't love you. Come on, Max. I'm a better match for you than Susie. Oh, today was such an awful day. Violetta and Max together? But Max... It turns out that everything she said happened. <laughs> Violetta, how many times must I repeat the same thing to you? I have Susie and I don't need anyone else. But Max! Uh, how stubborn he is. But he'll still be mine. Max! Oh, how could he do this? He was all about loving me and now he's with Violetta. He doesn't care about my feelings. <laughs> He dares to call me? Ugh. Traitor! But why don't you answer the phone? Did something happen? Max, we haven't discussed anything. You again? Why the hell don't you stop chasing me? But Max, I really need you. Um, look here. I am the richest girl. I am the queen of the school too. So be my king. And I promise you that your whole life will be much better. Violetta, leave me alone. I have a lot of problems. But why doesn't she answer? <laughs> I hope my dear Susie's okay. Oh, exactly. I have to go to her house to see her. Oh, yeah? Got problems, you say? Good, good. I'm so glad I have this picture of us hugging. It's a good time to post it. And Susie will see it, of course. Why do you keep calling me? Oh, leave me alone. I really don't want to answer your call. What is this? How could he do this? I can't understand. He's now hugging her. And everyone can see it. My life is no longer worth anything. <laughs> Sweetie, what happened to you? Why didn't you answer the phone? I could barely find you here. <laughs> How on earth do you come here like that? My love, 
What do you mean? Don't pretend you don't know anything about what you did. I saw you getting pretty close to Violetta and also, look what I found. <sighs> I don't understand. How did she do this? But when? Now you remember, right? And now get out of here. I don't ever want to see you again. Yes, I was talking to her, but she was flirting with me as always. I explained to her that I had you and that I didn't need anyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe you anymore. Why did you hug her then, huh? Uh, yeah, but you know how Violetta is. She's cruel and will do anything to make us fight. I don't know. All of this doesn't seem true. I really felt so bad when I saw that picture of the two of you. Oh, love, we've been together for many years. I would never do something like that to you. My love, do you believe me? Um, I don't know, Mac. I'm going to show you that this is all a lie. She did it on purpose. I'll never go near her if that's what you want. Um, well, I do believe you. But if you really betray me, I don't know what I'll do. I'm just so sad. I swear, sweetie, everything will be fine. But please, don't believe Violetta's words. I'm really looking forward to seeing that loser Susie, all sad and teary. Or she might not come to school today. <laughs> My love, I'm so glad to see you smiling again. I'm glad everything's going well with the two of us. <sighs> I don't understand. Susie, Max, they are together. So what? Did you expect the opposite? Susie, haven't you seen the picture of Max hugging me? Oh, uh, yeah. So what? You don't care? You see, I told you it was all done on purpose. And now I try to hurt your feelings. Uh, Max, don't worry. I'm not going to listen to what she said. Wait, you don't care that your boyfriend is cheating on you with me? Violetta, I'm not going to believe this nonsense. Come on, sweetie. Very good. Keep believing your Max and he'll keep cheating on you. Mm. Um, Violetta's such a fool. I agree. Plus, she expects you to believe her. It's good that you are quite clever and that you don't fall for her awful lies. Sit down now. Um, why did you want to meet us here? I need your help, guys. Uh, okay, we will do everything you say. I want Max to be mine for good, no matter what. Um, if we're not mistaken, he's dating Susie. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. I have already devised my plan. And what do we have to do with it? You are going to do it. I don't want to get my hands dirty with this. Um, but I don't want to either. <sighs> Maybe you forgot who the queen is. And by the way, who let you open your mouth? Uh, I'm sorry. What do we have to do? Well... All you have to do is lure Max to my house and tie him up so he doesn't escape. Is that clear? What? But how do we do that? Exactly! And by the way, if we try to kidnap them, we could end up in jail. And I don't care. Max must be mine no matter what. Well, bye, Letta! I already told you everything. And by the way... Here are the keys to my house. You have one day to do everything. If Max isn't home at that time, I don't know what I'll do with you guys. Uh, no way. How do we lure him into that house? Uh, Violet is really crazy. Why do we have to do all that she wants? Well, because she is the queen of the school. She's popular, rich. She buys us everything. She takes us to parties. Oh, well, I get it, okay. Alright, shall we go? What are we going to do? We'll think of something on the way. You know, I was thinking about it and I said I want to invite you somewhere. 
I don't know, to the cafe, to the restaurant? What do you uh, say? I'm sorry, honey, but I just don't have enough money to pay for that day. No problem. I will invite you, my love. Um, okay then, I guess. I want to spend time with you too, so let's do it. So, it's okay. Today afternoon, I'll pick you up, alright? Oh, you're just so sweet, darling. Uh, here's Max. Oh, well, I'm just not sure about it. He's such a good guy, isn't he? Me neither, but it's Violetta's order. We have to do it. Do you remember the plan? Yeah, I remember. Perfect, then. <clears throat> um, hello, Max. Guys, why are you suddenly without your queen? Does she allow you this? Well, she's very busy. Uh-huh. Uh, understood. Well, okay then, uh, I can't stand her, to be honest. Uh-huh. Hey, Max, well, the thing is, the lock in Julie's room is broken. <sighs> Great! What do I have to do with it? Um, would you help us out a little bit? It's just that Kevin isn't very strong. How am I no strong? It's just that I can't do it alone. No problem, but I wanted to spend time alone with Susie. Don't worry, sweetie, you can go and help the boys. I have a private lesson, plus the whole afternoon will be just ours. Well, yes. Thanks for understanding, my love. You're welcome. Um, okay, guys, let's go. I will help Thanks, you. Thanks, Max, come on. Uh, see you later, sweetie. See you later, Max. Okay, coming. For God's sake. I didn't know you lived in a house as luxurious as this one. <laughs> um, I didn't know either. <laughs> Did you say something? Yeah, well, it's all because of my parents. They actually worked really hard to buy this. That's weird. They have money to buy a house, but they can't call the person who fixes the locks? Well, the thing is... Hey, um... Max, we couldn't get into that room, we said. And we just want to fix that issue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. Well, show me the door. I'll only need two minutes for this. Oh, we'll show you. Wait a minute. Here is the lock. Well, let's see how this goes. But everything's fine, guys. I have opened the door without any problem. Yeah, the door is fine, but you are not. Uh, uh. Sorry, Max, we didn't mean to do this. This often happens, but... What's happening here? We can't tell you the whole truth. Max? Violetta? <sighs> hey, everyone, get out of here. Whatever you say, Julie. I'm coming. Uh, hey, guys, don't leave me alone with her. <sighs> Let go of me right now. <laughs> well, no. I asked you nicely to go out with me, and you didn't want to. What? And you decided to force me? No, you're just going to spend several days with me and you'll understand that I'm better than your dear Susie. <clears throat> Damn, Susie, we have a date in an hour. Let go of me right now. I won't. Now you're mine. Uh, get your hands off me. <gasps> what is happening now? It's been an hour Max isn't here. Did he forget about our date? Huh? No way, he invited me himself. I guess I will have to call him. I also left my cell phone at home. Well, I'll wait a little bit longer. Oh, he hasn't answered his phone all day. He didn't come to the date either. Maybe he doesn't want to see me because he got bored. Oh gosh, it's just so late. What if something happened to my poor Max? Right, I should stop this. I think I should go to sleep. Tomorrow I'll learn the truth. 
<sighs> What's going on here? Max hasn't answered his phone in two days. And he hasn't come to school. Kevin, look at Susie. She's just so worried. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, Violetta only thinks of herself. What if we were to tell her the truth? No, I don't think it's a good choice. If Violetta finds out, we're gonna be lost. <sighs> but Susie, there isn't a lot of pain, Kev. I understand, but we can't do anything. What if we maybe hinted at her somehow? No, Julie, you better not do it. <sighs> You're right, we better not mess with Violetta. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's good that everyone is here. Uh, well, everyone take your seats, please. Um, we have a very complicated topic to address today. And at the end of the class, you will do a small test. <sighs> Miss Maddie, can I leave the class, please? <laughs> but why are you asking me for something like that? Of course not! If I let everyone leave the class, there will be no students in the classroom. But I really need to go. Something happened. It's pretty personal, you know? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what about the class? The subject is really complicated. I'm telling you seriously. I will catch up later, I swear. Uh, well, you can go. But next class, you will go to the blackboard to answer my questions. And if you don't answer at least one question, I will get very angry. Thank you. I'll learn everything, I swear. See you later. What do you think? What is she going to do? I don't know. I think she'll try to find Max. Oh, poor girl. Uh, hey, just because I let Susie out doesn't mean you guys can talk. So both of you get your notebooks out and write down the topic of the lesson right now. Okay, calm down, Susie. It's possible he's home and he woke up very late. Hey, Max, sweetie. Sweetie, I miss you. Get out, please. Ah. This is just so useless now. I'm done. I've looked everywhere and I still haven't found Max. I can't believe this. Where is him? Where could he be? If something happened to him, I just couldn't bear it. There might be some clues in this locker. <laughs> it's locked. What does this mean? Max, sweetie, where are you? This is just so wrong. <gasps> oh, Julie, look. It's Susie. Oh, no. What happened to her? Maybe she has been too nervous about not being able to find Max so quickly. Uh, exactly. I think she just couldn't find him. Poor girl. <gasps> well, let's not panic. Please. We have to help her now. Yeah, come on. Let's not tell Violetta that we help Susie. I don't want any trouble with her. Okay. My love, look at everything that I have just cooked for you. Oh, take it away, I'm not hungry. And by the way, untie me. That's impossible. I already told you several times, but you do need to eat now. And I'll feed you, don't worry. I don't want to eat out of your hands. Get that out of my sight. Max, it's just a little bit. <sighs> I said no already. Max. That is not okay. And you're the one who says that? You have deprived me of my normal life. And I have to pretend everything's fine and eat out of your hands like nothing happened? No. Let me go now. Hey, if you yell at me again, I'll tape your mouth shut. Do you understand? I understand. Perfect then. And like I was telling you, you'll soon get used to me. And now you just have to relax a bit. Oh, oh no, get your hands off me. What happened to her? I don't know, but I hope she recovers very soon. Good morning, guys. What are you doing here? Get out of the room right now. 
Excuse me, doctor. We were waiting for you. We can't wait to find out what happened to Susie. That's a medical secret. I can't tell you. Please, please do that, doctor. You can't even imagine how important this is to us. Uh, well, if you guys are that worried, I think that I can say it. Uh, Susie has what we call lack of love. Maybe you can explain that to me. I think we know. She hasn't been able to find her boyfriend in a few days. Maybe that was the reason. What? Uh, don't you have his number? If you have it, contact him and tell him to come to my office immediately. Okay. Uh, Julie, we are guilty. Mm -hmm. So we have to do everything we can to save her. Uh, did you say something? Uh, yes. We say we will do our best, doctor. Thank you. She's only 16 years old. I don't want it to end like this for her. Um, yeah, sure. We swear we'll figure it out. Well, see you later. Good luck, guys. Uh, I also hope that everything ends in a much better way. Uh, uh, this is all our fault, isn't it? Hey, Julie, stop accusing us. It's not all our fault. But we kidnapped Max. We tidied him up. Not us, but Violetta. It was her order. Ugh, I know, but I still feel really guilty, don't you get it? Hey, calm down, let's figure out what we should do. Ugh, well, what can we do? The doctor said there was only one way out, to get Max. Yeah, and Violetta's always close to Max, and she won't free him. We got ourselves into big trouble. Listen, what if we talk to Violetta? Maybe she'll let him go and Susie can wake up. <laughs> really? Violetta hates Susie. She will be happy if she finds out that Susie fainted. Yeah, you're right. But Kev, you have to at least try. Susie won't feel any better if we're sitting here doing nothing. But I don't know. This is impossible. Oh, Kevin, please, 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 please. Well, let's try. But I warned you that we are unlikely to succeed in all this madness. <sighs> okay, Max, I'm kind of bored. Um, tell me something interesting about you. Because you are my boyfriend, I want to get to know you better. I am not your boyfriend. And aside from that, I'm not going to talk to you. You have to if you want to get out of this room as soon as possible. Are you blackmailing me? What else can I do? In a good way, it didn't work. So what? Get out of here. Perfect, Max. So now you're going to hear stories about me, since you don't want to say anything about yourself. Oh no, please no. Don't complain now. You have to know everything about your queen. But why are my hands tied and I can't cover my ears? Alright, listen. My favorite color is blue. I am very good, beautiful. Oh, dang, has anyone come? They ruined the most interesting thing. Well, Max, stay here. I'll be back soon. <sighs> Thank God I have two minutes without her. It makes me so mad. And by the way, I miss my beautiful girlfriend Susie so much. I wonder if she's looking for me or not. Oh, but who has come? And um, what are you doing here? Violetta, we wanted to talk to you about something very important. Uh -huh. Can this wait a bit? I'm spending quality time with Max. You're disturbing me. No, not now. This is very important. Oh, I'm so sick of you. Well, come on in. I'll listen to you. Hurry up. I don't want to waste my time with you anymore. Sure, sure. This will take two minutes. Well, what happened now? Okay, the real thing is that... When you kidnapped back, Susie got very, very upset. <laughs> but that's great. So what? She's in the hospital and she's unconscious. And what do I have to do with this? I don't even care. But she's at the hospital because of you. 
it's not a pretty sight. For me, uh, it was you who kidnapped Max. I didn't do anything, guys. Violetta, how can you say something like that? Okay, let's get straight to the point. What do you want from me? Well, Susie needs to spend a little while with Max to make her feel better. Can you lend him to us, please? What? Me lending you Max? Don't even dream of it. I'll never give him to Susie, so forget it. But Violetta, don't you feel at least a little bit sorry for her? No. And by the way, since when are you such heroes? We just want to help that poor girl. <sighs> Enough! Get out of here and stop irritating me! <sighs> Whatever you say, I'm sorry. Mm. Wow, wow. They came to my house and want me to give my boyfriend to my enemy. Don't even dream of it. Forget it. See, Julie, I told you so. <sighs> Why is she so evil? <sighs> it's typical of Violetta. Well, what do we do now? Um, I really don't know. <gasps> How about you kiss Susie and then she can get some love from you? No, I don't think that will work. You need a kiss from true love, not mine. Yeah, you're right. That would be even worse. Oh, this is complicated. Wait. How about we steal Max for a few minutes? But how? Violet is always so close to him. I don't know. We can distract her and steal him while she can't see. I'm so sorry, Kevin, but that's a stupid idea. And what? We do not do anything? No, I guess we can just use our creativity. Explain. We can help Max escape by himself. Um... The problem will be solved and Violetta won't think that we did it. But how are we going to do it? I'll tell you everything on our way. Okay, I think this is the window, I'm afraid. Uh-huh, me too. But we have to save Max and Susie. Uh, okay, are you ready? Uh-huh, come on. Max, what are we going to do today that we are together? We're doing nothing. But honey, don't be mad. Please get your hands off me. Everything is pretty good. I can wait. You will soon get used to me. Huh? I don't get it. What the heck is that? Well, all good. It's okay. Uh, don't you want to go see what's that noise? Huh? Well, I'll go see. Don't miss me too much. Uh-huh, of course. Huh? Let's see. I think they're knocking near the window. Yeah, exactly. It could be the police or maybe it's Susie? <laughs> Understood, guys? All right. Perfect. Looks like I'll be saved. Soon. Uh, uh. Okay, we've done it. Uh-huh. Let's see what interrupted us. Oh no, I heard Violetta. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, there's no one here either. I have gone through the whole house in vain. Uh, I don't know who it was. Maybe it was a kid's prank. Max... You didn't miss me a lot, did you? It's just that I missed you so much during all these long minutes. Actually, I did miss you. Seriously, I wish you knew how much I missed you, my dear. What am I listening to? I told you that you would like to be with me and that you were gonna get used to me. Honestly, I feel bored when we're together. I wish we were going somewhere other than here. Hey, are you asking me out on a date? <sighs> what date are you talking about? I am tired. Well, if you want it so much, I can ask the guard to bring the restaurant here for us to eat. Uh, well, so you don't run away. But I can't run away, because I'm already yours, right? True. <sighs> 
It looks like you've already understood everything. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we have time to spend together. Yeah, I'm also glad that we came here. And I'm glad you finally changed your mind. Uh -huh. Where are the guys? When are they supposed to save me? I'm so sick of Violetta. Alright, the target's there. Ready, Julie? Of course I am. Come on. Welcome, dear clients. What would you like to have today? I'm not hungry at the moment. And you, Max? And I... I... I don't know. But you have to order something. So... So I want to eat pasta. Thank you, sir. We'll bring it to you very soon. Violetta, don't you want to wash your hands before eating? But I didn't ask for anything to eat. But wash them anyway. Maybe you'll order something later. I really don't want us to waste our time together. Well, I'm going to do it. Hey waiters, make sure this guy doesn't run away from the restaurant. I'll give you a very generous tip. Whatever you say. Okay, she's gone. Let's go to work. Max? Kevin? Julie? It's you guys? Yeah, no time to explain. Listen, Susie's in the hospital. She's unconscious. What? How? What happened? Hey, I told you there's no time to explain. Run to the hospital immediately. The doctor will tell you everything. Okay, got it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I think we can save Susie very soon. Hey, Julie, if you don't want to end up in the hospital too, then let's go. Well, let's see. Okay, I don't understand. Where is Max? And the waiters? Where is everybody? Oh no, please no! Doctor, I'm here. They told me I had to come see Susie. And who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Oh, really? It's good that she have arrived. Please tell me, what happened to her? <sighs> Susie has a lack of love. And from what I understand, I think you can save her now. And what should I do? I think you yourself know what to do to save her. Hey, so that's it? Okay, maybe I should check her pulse first. Pulse is fine. So why is she unconscious? Well, I'll try to talk to her. Hi, Susie. Wake up, it's me, Max, your boyfriend. It's not working. And why did the doctor leave me alone here with her? I don't know what to do. Susie, my love, I miss you so much. Come back to me, please. Susie? My dear! Max, is that you? Yes, you woke up! Max, where were you all this time? And where am I? Honestly speaking, I don't know the details. But I think I know who can tell us all about it. Really? Well, who are they? Uh, Kevin and Julie. But they're Violetta's friends. Well, the thing is... Well, get up. You'll know everything at the party. But I am just not ready. Oh, relax. We'll stop by your house on the way, all right? And by the way, you're always beautiful. He's not here. He left. He ran away. He cheated on me. Ugh. I don't understand. There is a party and I'm not there. Hey, guys, it's a great party. Ooh. Come have some fun. Ooh. Max is there. And Julie. And Kevin. I don't get it. Are they crazy or what's wrong with them?
When I get there, I will destroy all of them. Mm. Woohoo! The part is great. What do you think? Is Susie going to like of it? Of course, she got back from the hospital today. Uh huh, it's quite a holiday for her. Yeah. Woohoo! Wow, this is really cool. We did it for you, honey. <gasps> Susie! <laughs> We're so glad to see you. Thank you so much, guys. Well, since everyone's here, let's party big now. Wait, can you explain everything to me first? I just don't remember anything. Yes, Julie, Kevin, tell her what happened, please. No problem. Um, listen, Violetta made Kevin and I kidnap Max. And after that, Susie felt really bad for not having you around, Max. <sighs> Violetta, how does she keep messing with our relationship? Don't worry about it anymore, honey. That's right. We're so glad you were able to get Susie back. Wait, why did you decide to help me then? We feel so sorry for you, Susie. We also understood that Violetta's a bad person and we shouldn't obey her. Like, ever. Thank you, guys. You're really, really kind. And now we're just gonna have a lot of fun. We have rented the whole club. Let's do it. So here you are. Violetta. Uh, Violetta? Max, why did you run away from our date like that? That's none of your business. I do what I want. I'm not your property. How come you're not? You are my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. She is right. Shut up. You silly and pathetic girl. And don't you tell me what to do, is that clear? Since when are you so brave, silly girl? Oh, right. Kevin, Julie, what are you doing here? Uh, we thought it through, and we are on their side. Yeah! What? Have you forgotten who I am? I am the queen, and you have to obey me. Violetta. No one's going to obey you anymore. In that case, I will complain to the school principal and he will punish all of you. <laughs> all right, just try that. Let's see what he will do to us then. Violetta, everyone knows that you are the real loser here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you... I, I will destroy you all! <laughs> Guys, thank you all for your support and for not listening to Violetta. No problem, Susie. We're friends. Friends? Well, it's so weird to hear that. I didn't have anyone except for Max. Get used to it because this will last forever. Now you have us. Hooray! 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 Britney, this part is great! You're super cool! That's true, girl! Not everyone can throw a party at school without fear of getting punished! Woohoo! Relax, guys! My mom's the principal of the school, so she won't do anything to us! Woo! Anyway, I hope the Steve yeah, doesn't hey. see this party! <laughs> 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 didn't bring cocktails to school today. Hello, guys. What the heck are you doing here? What is that really gross sound? Uh, look at that. That's the loser of our school, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I'm not a loser. I'm too smart. <laughs> you're a loser and you're also a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you want? I want you to stop laughing right now. No. No. Oh, uh, okay, guys. I have, I have warned you. <sighs> you better run, little loser. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> well, a little more time, and all of my chakras will be opened. Mr. Steve. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on, Sophie? What are you scaring like that? Britney and her classmates are throwing a party right now in 
the classroom. Say what? I saw it with my own eyes. This must be stopped immediately, sir. Well, follow me, please. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Mm -hmm. Hey, Brittany, um, is it true that we won't get punished? I don't want to get bad grades for no reason. I'm scared to. Don't worry, you can trust me. Everything will be fine. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Oh, super! Yeah! So cool! This part in the classroom is such a bomb! <laughs> hey! What are you doing here, kids? I tried to warn you that you'd be punished! Oh no, I knew that throwing a party in the classroom wasn't a good idea! Oh. We must escape, Alex! It's unlikely that you managed to escape from this place. Mr. Steve, I advise you to move from that door. <gasps> How dare you talk to me like that, little girl? <laughs> and what can you do to me, sir? Um... I'm gonna tell everything to your mom. <laughs> well, I told you nothing would happen. Uh-huh, but he's gonna come back through that door with the principal. <laughs> it seems you're trapped in here. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. Hmm. Mm, all of the food they serve in our school cafeteria tastes amazing. Anyway, I think it's because of the fact that I'm the principal. <laughs> Miss Emma. What happened to you, Steve? Why are you crying now? Well, the children, they have, they have... Well, come on, tell me then. They have thrown a party in the classroom. Say what? And your daughter had the idea. Brittany. No, that's unacceptable in my school. Uh-huh. I beg you to do something about it, miss. I'll go there right now and take the necessary actions. Uh-huh. Whoa, pizza. <laughs> now your amazing party is going to be ruined. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I don't feel very well. I want to leave. <laughs> <gasps> what is this supposed to mean? Oh, mom, hello. Guys, the school principal's here. Uh, Sarah, you're my girlfriend, help me. Now you'll get what you all deserve, bullies. Yes, Emma, you have to tell our students that they can't behave like that anymore. How could you kids throw a party in our classroom and not invite me to it? Say what? I told you it was all right. <laughs> Oof, I think we're safe this so time. So I want you guys to answer my question. Miss Emma, I think that what you're telling the kids is not all right. No! no! Are you going to teach me how to treat my daughter and my students? Uh, of course not. Hey, ma'am, you can join us if you want to. Well, of course I'd like to join you. Woohoo! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Look there, the principal's going crazy. <laughs> Stop, this is a huge mess. <laughs> well, Alex, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know what you want, but I have to pass a level in my favorite game. Are you serious? We just got back from school and you started playing your games? There's no difference. Hey, don't bother me, Sarah. And this is supposed to be my boyfriend. Uh, uh did you say something? No. Oh my gosh. <sighs> no. No. Pass. Pass. No, I can't concentrate on my books anymore. After today's situation, I'm so shocked that I can't even read. Well, the party didn't go wrong. It was amazing. Hey, Brittany, don't bother me now. Oh, Sophie, uh, what are you doing here? Buy some glasses if you can't see. I'm reading a book. I mean, I'm doing my homework for this week. <laughs> it's so stupid to do your homework. But I'm going to get good grades in all the subjects. I feel very lucky because my mother is the principal of our school. 
Hey, what do you mean by that? I mean that I don't have to do my homework to get good grades in all of our classes. Mr. Steve always says that we won't get any good grades without doing our homework. It's nonsense. You'll see that I'll get a good grade without doing my homework. Um, okay, we'll see that. Sophie, where are you going? Mm, what do you mean? To the library. I'll return it. She's so disgusting. Ooh, this Alex guy makes me totally mad. He always plays his video games nonstop. Hey, Sarah, why did you run away from there? And why do you think I did that? Well, I have no idea. You play your games every day of the week and I'm left to side. You always ignore me. So what? I love my game. It has very good graphics. If you really love your games that much, our relationship is probably a huge mistake. <sighs> what nonsense are you saying? You love your game more and you're absolutely sensitive. You seriously irritate me. The bell has rung, we have to go. Today we're gonna have to take an exam. That's right, come on, quickly! Oh, where's the rest of my students? Mr. Steve, I wanted to tell you. Hmm? Brittany, Alex and Sarah are late again, so I think you should lower their grades. I won't do that, I'm not that cool. Oh, hello. Don't you mind that today we have an important test? Can you hurry up a bit? Oh my god, do you really think I'm going to bother with nonsense like this test? <sighs> Mr. Steve, we're sorry, we're late. We swear this is never gonna happen again. Well, I hope so, kids. Hey, Sophie, do you want to help me with all the answers? Of course I don't. Okay, the exams are on your desk, so you can start now. I have to write this test as soon as possible to get the best grade in the class. Hey, Brittany, why aren't you writing on your paper? If you want to know, I'm on my phone, shopping. Hey, girl, I want you to drop it and do the test. Come on, start. What? Oh, I think that something entertaining is coming. I wonder what Brittany is going to do with him. Nobody has ever talked to her like that in her life. Why did you get up? I command you to sit right now. <laughs> Never again. Hey, what are you doing with the test sheet? <laughs> now catch it. <gasps> As always, she's a disgusting spoiled girl. How dare you hit your professor? I'm giving you the worst grade in the whole school. Do you really think that you'll be able to do that? I already did. Okay. Oh, what's gonna happen? But Brittany, he's telling me Sema everything. Hmm. Oh, that girl is a walking nightmare. Um, I have such a difficult job. It's very hard for me. <sighs> Mom! What happened, little girl? Why are you so upset today? Just imagine, Mr. Steve's given me the worst grade in the whole school. How dare he do something like that? I don't know, I didn't do anything and he... I'll definitely have to talk to him. Uh-huh, thank you very much, ma'am. You are the best mother. No, I'm going to talk to him right this second. Hmm? My plan has worked well. I remind you that time is almost up, so you can hand in. Steve! Oh no, here we go. Hello, Miss Emma. I want you to come to my office. At your service. Sit down or I'll tell Mr. Steve everything you're doing. Oh. We're very lucky that Miss Emma sent Mr. Steve right into her office. Uh-huh, and we left our classes early. I'm happy. Uh-huh, and if Sophie hadn't been there, we would have copied all of the tests. Well, what kind of things are you going to buy for me this time? Uh, wait a sec. Hey, Alex, why didn't you take out the phone? 
I remember that I forgot to collect my daily rewards. Oh, uh, you make me so angry! Say what? Look at him! You hid the phone behind your back just because I yelled at you! But you know it! I hate when people talk to me out loud or they start shouting! I'll keep doing it because I'm your dear girlfriend and it irritates me so much that you're always glued to your phone! So what? You know by now how important games are to me! If they're all more important than your girlfriend, I think we need to break up right now! Okay then, I was about to break up with you anyway! What have you just said? What you heard, Sarah! So I confirm what I always knew! You have never loved me! <laughs> At last she's gone from here! Well, don't you want to explain to me why my dear daughter got a bad grade in your class? Well, you should understand, it's her fault that she got it! Are you saying that my dear daughter Brittany is wrong? Mm, of course not. Then listen, if something like this happens again, I'm going to fire you. Uh, I get it. And now get out of my office and do your job and don't get mad at me. It's all right. Huh. I did what I had to again. I'm such a good mom. I'm dying to know my grade on the exam. I'm sure I passed and I'll get the best grade. But Mr. Steve has already given you the worst grade, that's a real fact! So what? You'll see that this isn't a problem when your mother is the principal of the school! By the way, where are those two now? Uh, Sarah and Alex? I don't know, and honestly, I don't care about them! Hello there, kids! <gasps> okay, are you all ready to see all of your test results? Of course, we're looking forward to them! Oh, bookworm! Okay, listen please! Sophie, it's perfect! Hooray, thank goodness I spent all night getting ready! Brittany, also perfect! I already told you! What? Mr. C, that is totally unfair! You had already given her a bad grade! Well, it's because of the circumstances, and where are Sarah and Alex now? Maybe they skipped your class again! Awful! Luckily, I gave them the worst grade of the whole class! Uh, Mr. Steve, uh, don't you have something you want to tell me? Exactly! Brittany, I apologize for yelling at you during the test, I'm sorry! Mm, that's much better! This is horrible and so unfair! Hey, what else can I do? If I hadn't apologized to her, I would have been fired from school. Ah, I'm so exhausted. I have to sleep for a while. <sighs> uh, Brittany, hello. Alex! <sighs> Can't you see I'm sleeping? What do you want? Uh, I'm sorry, I hope I don't bother you. <gasps> Uh, I originally found out that you got a good grade for the exam we took. Did I just hear Alex talking to Brittany inside her room? On the other hand, my grade is the lowest and... Hmm, let me guess, do you want to ask me to talk to my mom about your grade on the exam? <laughs> of course, everyone wants to get good grades without any effort! Yeah, that's it! Hmm, well, my answer is no! What? Why is that? Did she just say no to him? You understand, even though you're my friend... Uh-huh, we've been friends since we were in kindergarten! But getting good grades without doing anything can be done only by me, because my mother is a principal! What do you mean? That's just so unfair! Oh, poor Alex! Mm, I don't care, just go away! No, I see what kind of friend you are! I have to hide or he's gonna see me! <sighs> Uh, um, what is it that Britney doesn't want to help me get a good grade? Uh. Oh, hello, Alex! Uh, Sophie, uh, what are you doing here? I accidentally heard your conversation with Britney. I don't get it. Were you there spying on us? Mm, I can't tell you that. It's clear then. Well, 
Say what you wanted to say. All right, I was wondering, don't you want me to help you with your grades? <laughs> Why are you asking? And how? Your mom isn't the principal of the school. It's just that Britney drives me crazy. <sighs> I want her to understand that you're able to get good grades without her help. Okay, and how are you going to help me get a good grade? Listen, I can explain all the subjects to you and then we'll practice. Dang, but I don't feel like learning anything at all. But we have to show that spoiled girl Brittany that we can handle this on our own. Okay, but it's only because I want to get revenge on Brittany. Super. In fact, um, what are you doing right now? Oh, this is just one of my favorite video games. Do you want to try? Hmm, sounds pretty interesting. Aw, oh, come on, Sophie, press it fast! Dang no. it, I can't do it fast! Come on! I'm so tired of doing nothing all day. Hello, my dear friend! Oh, Sarah, come in. What happened to you? You know, I've been thinking and I'd like to ask you something. Hmm, let me guess. Is it about getting good grades? Exactly! Wait up! How did you know that? Your boyfriend came to me very recently and asked me for the same thing. <laughs> Who, Alex? Of course, do you have someone else? No, it's just that he's not my boyfriend. Wait a sec, how is that? Well, you see, I broke up with him very recently. Oh, really? And why did you? It's because he's always playing his stupid and boring video games. And he ignores me all the time, it's like I'm not even there. Oh no, but the good thing is that you're free now. Uh-huh. Well then, will you help me with the good grades? Well, of course. We're best friends after all, right? Thank you very much. You're the best friend. I'll never forget all your kindness towards me. There's no problem. By the way, I also have to go somewhere. <laughs> Why am I such a loser? I'm stupid. I have to listen to that Britney. <laughs> Hi, what's up? Hello, Britney. What do you want now? Mr. Steve, uh, why are you crying like that? Well, you know, I... Oh, uh, I don't care. Come on, it's always the same. See what you wanted to see. Uh, well, I really need a good grade in your class. But I already gave you the good grade that you wanted. What else do you want from me? Uh, you misunderstood me. I want a good grade at the end of the school year. If you think I'll accept this and you'll do it without a thought, turns out you're right about it. <laughs> That's great. <sighs> it turns out that I'm a complete loser after all. <laughs> Come on, kids, come on, you have to be more active. But I can't take it anymore, Miss Emma. <sighs> I spent a half an hour on this machine, I can't go on. I don't care about all that. If I say work out till you fall, then you must do it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hello, Mommy. Good morning, Miss Emma. Oh, they're both gonna be punished. They're already 40 minutes late. <laughs> I doubt it. Brittany will never get punished for that. Hello, my daughter. Uh, sorry, we came a little late. Don't worry about it. Come on in, please. Thanks, Thanks a, lot. a lot. That's what I meant. Well, what are we going to do? Um, we'll probably do nothing. That's it. Because your classmates Sophie and Alex have done twice the exercises that you will. Say, Say what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so you can just play with the ball until the class ends. Super! But that's unfair. It's not right. Why do we have to do something for those two girls? Hey, I didn't let you ask questions. <laughs> Hey, this food is always delicious. <laughs> what are you doing here? Physical education class isn't over yet. It's a good thing that we can skip classes whenever we want to do it. Uh-huh, my mom teaches physical education so we can rest easily. Hey, listen girls, what are you doing here? 
Oh, Mr. Steve, good morning. Hope you're having a good meal. Uh -huh, thanks a lot. Instead of wishing that to me, you should be on time for my class. <laughs> Sorry, but that is impossible. Mm, Sarah, uh, would you want to have some fun for a while? Of course, tell me what we're gonna do. Hey, what are you whispering over there, girls? Uh, well, it's nothing. <laughs> so, are you ready? To be honest, I'm a little scared, girl. It's better if you start. <sighs> okay, mother. Mr. Steve? Yo, what? Uh, try to eat the cupcakes like this. I don't understand what you're saying. Come here, now you'll get it. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! What is that? <laughs> what do you just think you're doing? <laughs> Hope you have a nice meal. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, see you. you. <laughs> hey, what did you do with my pool glasses? I spent last month's entire salary only to buy them. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Steve, why are you crying like that? Is everything okay with you? You see, I was all alone in the cafeteria and nobody bothered me. Yeah, so what? That I saw Brittany and Sarah who came and did all this. Wait a minute, everything seems to be fine with you. Alex, do you have problems with your eyesight? I have new glasses on my face. Oh, no way! Did those monsters really steal your glasses? No, they messed up the old ones by throwing cupcake on my face, so I got this. Really? They were too cruel with you. What a nightmare. We have to take revenge on them right now. Uh -huh, I completely agree with you guys. Wait, I'm in, but how are we going to do it? Well, you know... I think that there's a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, what did they do then? <laughs> you mean him? We smashed the cupcake in Mr. Steve's face. <laughs> Gosh, I hadn't laughed like this for a really long time. It's the best prank of the year. <laughs> Actually, that's a very good idea. Daughter, I want to congratulate you for it. Uh, thank you, but for what? You have won the prank of the year school contest. Oh, really? Does that contest exist? I had never heard that. It usually doesn't, but if I say it exists, then it does. Hooray! <laughs> Let's celebrate this. Come on, girls. Aha, uh -huh. I also have an idea for another prank to make. <laughs> Well, how much longer, Sophie? It's all done! Children, are you really sure that this is a good idea? Of course it is! Mr. Steve, please understand, we have to get revenge on those two. Well, I guess we do if you say so. Wait a minute, what is that? Yeah! <laughs> What's all the fuss about? Miss yeah. Emma, may I know what's going on with you? First of all, you should congratulate my daughter. After that, you can say something to me. Congratulate her? Why? Uh, it looks like our only principal has gone totally insane. What do you mean? Britney won the prank of the year contest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and why had I never heard of that contest? That's because this contest is new and we're going to organize it every year look at the cup they gave me it's just so beautiful Psst. i hope she doesn't sit on the chair yet not in front of miss emma you're right why didn't we think of that before i'm going to place this cup on my cute desk yeah yeah let everyone admire it oh uh, no not over there hey why are you yelling steve Yes, I think it's a perfect place for my prize. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, children? I'm sorry, I just couldn't hold my laugh. Who did all this? Tell me right now! I don't know that. I think that I know who did this. 
Steve, Alex and Sophie, I want you to follow me right now. Looks like we're in trouble after all. Yeah, it would seem that way. At, At your, your service. service. Dang, I'm sure they'll definitely be punished for this. And they deserve it. I want mom to keep them out of my side. My foot will never stop here again. Well, what are you gonna say? Well, understand this, we wanted to get revenge for the situation at the cafe. Uh-huh, you know, Mr. Steve cried a lot, poor man. And we felt very sorry for him. Well, I don't care. Do you know what your punishment is gonna be? Yes, yes we, we know, know that. that. Steve, it seems to me that I warned you about this. <laughs> yeah, but this is pure coincidence. Enough! I don't want to hear any of that. Get out of here now. Uh, got, got it, miss. miss. They're all so nasty. Hey, Brittany, don't you want to calm down a little? I can't. After everything that Alex, Sophie and Steve did, I'm devising a revenge plan. Uh, but revenge is a sad and dark path. I don't care. They should answer for everything they did to me today. Well, and how do you plan to catch your revenge? We have to bully them at all times non-stop. Also, it will be great if we invent some new pranks every day. Hmm, I like the idea. Brittany, you're a genius. Hmm, I know that. No, I'm done. That was a real nightmare. I still can't believe how precisely Miss Emma came right when we decided to saw off the legs of Britney's chair. Well, I think we just had a lot of bad luck. We have it or we don't. What are we going to do now? What do you mean? Well, listen. Don't tell me that you're going to give it all up that easily. Of course not. I want to teach those brats a nice lesson. <laughs> I like it better when you're excited to do that. <laughs> Let's go now. I have so many new ideas. Hey, Sarah, how many people do you have on the live stream you're making? 500. And what about you? So little. I have 10,000. Huh. Hello? That means hello, enemies! <laughs> Alex! Uh. Look at the way you're dressed! You're so pathetic! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> what the heck are you saying? I say you're alive right now! <laughs> Since when are you very good friends with that nerdy loser Sophie? <laughs> None of your business, and also put down the camera! Yeah, you're not allowed to film us if we say no! I don't care, we're live insulting you, and that's it! You're not gonna stop us! <laughs> you guys are so gross! <laughs> Perfect, Sarah! Well done, my dear friend! <laughs> Sophie, so what? Are you ready? Are you kidding me? I'm always ready! Well, my subscribers, tell me how your life is going. Subscribers, tell me down here who is uglier, Alex or poor Sophie. <laughs> well, now we'll get our revenge. Well, our time has finally come. Who's tickling me like that? <laughs> and it's all done. Hey, your feet stink. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> hey, Sophie, is it ready? It's ready. <laughs> hey, where have you been all of this time you left? I wonder what they have done under our nice desks. <laughs> You're gonna see that for yourselves very soon. <laughs> well, I don't want to listen to them. We better go to the cafe. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what they did? Did you tie your shoelaces to the chairs, guys? <laughs> Admit that's great. It's a great idea. It's much better than the prank of the year. Stop it, Sarah. Let's go quickly. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is horrible. I want to leave now. <laughs> and also, I have a new master plan to get our great revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway, run away! Run away. <laughs> Hey, Brittany, are you sure that this is a good idea? 
Yeah, sure, I did it to my mom when I was a little kid. I hope he doesn't wake up now. Well, it's time to get our revenge, girl. Huh? Uh, who is here? Dang, it looks like he's waking up now. Man, Sarah, it's time for plan B, let's go. Sarah, I didn't know you could sing so well. You have a beautiful voice. I have a younger brother. I'm used to it. Ah, now I get it. Okay, let's go out quickly. Uh, who's there? It's strange, there's no one here. Why do I have the feeling that I've forgotten something important? That's it! Come on! Come on, come on, Sophie, faster, come on! I don't know how to play, wait up! <sighs> it's okay, you'll help me with my studies and I'll help you with the video games. <gasps> Children! What? what? Well, have you already devised the revenge plan for Sarah and Brittany? <laughs> Mr. Steve, why do you have that on your face? <laughs> Stop it, I don't understand you. Oh, take a look in the mirror, please. Huh? What? Looks like they both got a little ahead of you. You sure that Sarah and Brittany did this? Who else could it be? No, they've already crossed the line. I'm so tired. Hmm. God, I'm so sorry for Mr. Steve, but this prank was actually great. In fact, we also have to think about our own prank. But first, let's finish the game. Come yeah, on, come on, it. Alex! Alright, I hope that at least today is a quiet day at school. Miss Emma! Oh, Steve. What happened to your face? I came to discuss this matter with you once and for all. Can't you see? I'm busy now. Okay, this sign up here was made by Brittany and Sarah. <laughs> oh, they're so good. What? And why are you laughing? I can't help but laugh at you. Look at yourself. You're a loser. You know what? That's already too much for me, you bully. Hey, how dare you talk to me like that? I will speak the way that I want. I don't care. Did you forget? I can fire you whenever I want. You can fire me. Anyway, I don't feel like working at your school. Okay, then get away from here. I'll get away, but now everyone will know what kind of school this one is. Say what? And everyone's going to know how you treat all your employees. And I doubt anyone will come to work here in a million years. You're gonna make me take extreme action. But what extreme action are you talking about? Oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Steve, Steve, where, where are, are you? you? Hey, please, get out now. Mr. Steve, it's us. Uh, it's so weird. He's not here either. Maybe he left school and went outside. Well, we haven't looked out there yet. We should go. Okay, let's go. We have to find him right now. <laughs> hey Steve, why don't you talk? Are you scared of us? <laughs> Daughter, he has tape on his mouth. Ah, uh, that's it, I forgot. Oh my friend, it seems that you're not very focused today either. Where the heck did you bring me, girls? Let go of me right now, come on! We won't do that! <laughs> it's a room where no one will find you, not even your friends! Well, I'm gonna report you then! To who? <laughs> That's right, I ended up here because of exactly the same reason! Then you better hold up! And now we have to go, we're going to have tea! <laughs> help me, please! Someone help me! How did we lose Mr. Steve now? I don't know, it's as if the earth had swallowed him! Someone please help me! Huh? What is that loud voice? I have a feeling that someone is someone shouting and asking me. us for help! I think it's Mr. Steve, didn't we have to go quickly? Look, the sound came from this room! Someone help me! Come in first, Sophie! 
Please help me. Someone help me. Oh, who is that? Surprise! Surprise. <gasps> oh, children, it's that you? Well, of course, sir. Mr. Steve, I see that you're not in the best situation you could be in. This isn't a good time to laugh. Help me out, guys. Uh huh. And I'm going to call the police right now. Hello? What were those sounds that we heard? <laughs> Alex, Sophie, how did you guys get in here? It's because you didn't put the tape in my mouth before leaving. Listen, girls, we don't have time to waste. Tie them up. Everyone stays here. What? A policeman? Well, they're right on time. You don't get it. We can explain everything. There is no need. I can see everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll throw you girls in jail and you'll be there for a long time. No! <laughs> You didn't want to give it back to me. Okay, let's solve this. Hello, girls. Are you fighting again? Look what she did to my dear plushie. No, it was her. Hey, girls, a couple is coming today, so behave yourselves. You have to make a good impression. Are they finally going to adopt us? Well, if you behave like two good girls, then of course. Look at me. I'm the best behaved girl in the world. Are you kidding me, girl? Sophie, don't ruin everything now. You know, I was going to say exactly the same thing. Oh, here they are. <gasps> Hello, we finally get the chance to meet you, princesses. <gasps> Princesses! <laughs> She's not talking about you. Meet the girls. These are Sophie and Rachel. Nice to meet you, girls. I'm Steve, and this is Louisa. Welcome! It's so nice to meet you. All we have to do now is sign some paperwork, and then you can pick them up. That's perfect. I'm finally going to have a family. You're gonna see that they'll send you back as soon as they find out you're a poor girl. Just because you're rich, it doesn't mean that they're going to love you more than me. Are you sure? Everybody loves money. Well, I don't love it. That's because you don't have it, dear. Well, it's done, little girls. We can go now. Have a good life, girls. Oh, whoa. Why does Rachel have so much money? When we found out her outside near the gate of this house, she had a lot of money with her. So it turns out that she's rich? Yes, please go now. Okay, girls, welcome to your home. Yoo what do you think? Are we going to be good parents for those little girls? Huh, of course we'll be good, my love. I'm very happy. Now I finally have a family. You won't have it for long. And why are you saying that? Louise and Steve are going to love only me. They'll love me too. <laughs> Look at you! Do you have any of this? That doesn't mean anything! We're going to find out soon! I'll do everything so that they love me more than they love her! Mom? Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, can I call you that? Of course, my dear daughter! To celebrate the occasion, I have brought some gifts they're for you. Oh, really? We thought it should be the other way around. Uh, well, here they are. <gasps> Thank you, Rachel. This wasn't necessary. You must have spent a lot of money. Don't listen to her. It was necessary. Oh, what? Will you love me from now on, then? Of course we love you, little girl. <laughs> yeah, I already love you. What are you doing? I'll make him some delicious scones for both my parents with lots of love. <laughs> Do you think this will work? <laughs> of course, because I'm doing it with my own little hands. Take a look at them. So what? <laughs> Do you see how happy they are for my presents? 
<gasps> That's unfair! You bribed them with money! And is there a difference? The important thing is that they love me. I'm going to order some food from a restaurant for them. My food will be tastier than some stupid restaurant's food! I think that we're very lucky. Yeah, the girls are so nice to us. And they're rich. Steve, what are you thinking? I think that the girls are very nice, especially Rachel. And Sophie is too. We're going to love them both equally, despite Rachel's money, you got it? I get it, I get it. Oh, you smell that? <gasps> uh-huh, something smells good. Where is it coming from? Oh, this is where the wonderful smell's coming from. Yeah, I decided to cook some delicious scones for you. Mmm, <sighs> I really love sweet food. Oh, everything's ready. Sit down, I'll make some tea for you. <sighs> ah, with our new daughters, life is filling up with colors. Mmm, it looks so delicious. Oh, you're already here? Perfect. Oh, girls, I feel you're pampering us. Oh, Rachel, did you make that dish all by yourself? Me? No, I bought them from a restaurant. It was the most expensive dish they had on the menu. So annoying. Stinky. You should try my scones first. They're still warm. The dessert is sitting after dinner. Girls, we're gonna try everything. I already did. It's so tasty. Steve, that's not how it's done. Try it. You'll like it. This goes perfectly with these scones. Awesome, girls. You're really magical. Do you see that? They like my scones. They're much better. <laughs> He'll like anything you give him. I clearly see that. By the way, girls, tomorrow you're both going to school. Ugh, school sucks. I'm out. Perfect. I'm going to get ready. I have to take some more books. Well, school is the worst. And I think that's great. We're going to meet new friends in class. I don't need to study anything because I have a lot of money. You can buy everything you want with money. But I don't need anything. What matters is that I can buy the love of our parents. And I don't need all your money. They're going to love me anyway. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Hello, school! Woo! Hello, school! I'm ready to obtain some knowledge today! And then I told him it was all your fault! Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Nice to meet you! You must be your new classmates! I guess so! That's cool! I'm Sophie and this is my sister Rachel! Adaptive sister! Uh, we weren't told that new people would come to our class! That's probably because we moved into our parents' house yesterday. Oh, uh, so you're adopted. Uh-huh. Steve and Louise are our wonderful parents. Wait, what did you say? Steve and Louisa? Yeah, do you know who they are? Yeah, of course. Good morning. How are you, children? Mom, what are you doing here? This is where I work. So then will you be our teacher? Yeah, I didn't want to say that because I wanted it to be a surprise. It worked out very well. Super, our new mom is a teacher. Um, have you met your classmates Sarah and Nick yet? Yeah. That's perfect, then we can start today's class. The first day at school is super awesome. Uh-huh, I can't wait for it to finish now. Dang, we have bad luck. Why so? The teacher's children are going to study with us in our class. And why is it bad luck? Think about it. They're going to tell their parents everything we do here. Maybe it's all fine with them. And besides, we can become friends with them. Ah, uh, you're right. If we end up being their friends, they're always going to protect us from Steve and Louisa. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Let's do it. Hello, athletes. Hello, Dad. Mr. Steve, call me that way when we're at school. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Steve. Well, according to the plan today, we have... Okay, we have athletics. That's so amazing. Who wants to try to do the trial first? Can I do it? Yes, of course. Come on, Sophie. Mr. 
Steve, can we talk a bit? Just Rachel, I hear you. Can we arrange this in some way? I don't want to do any tests today. Uh, how would you arrange it? Well, maybe like this. Then we have come to an agreement. Okay, have I passed? Oh, Sophie, I didn't see you. One more time, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that Louise and Steve are our teachers, right? Yeah, it's really good. I'm so happy. They're here. Let's go sit with them. Hello, girls. Can we chill out with you? Are you cold, guys? Sit down, guys. Oh, Sid, that was kind of a pun, wasn't it? Don't mind my sister, she's just a little bit strange. Listen up, girls, Nick and I propose you to spend some time together after class. Yeah, since we're gonna be classmates now. After class? That would be a pleasure for us. Hey, where's the waiter of this cafe? There are no waiters here, it's only a buffet. Oh, I got it. Well, would you like to hang out? I don't know, I'll consider it. Why did she answer like that? Oh, it happens all the time. She's a very rich girl. Her mind is full of millionaire demons. But what does that mean? Well, that she has a lot of money. What about you? And I have... let's see... Uh, but how? You're sisters. Well, we're not blood sisters and we're also not very good friends. But where did she get the money if you lived in the orphanage? I don't know. She has never told me that. And also, Nick and Sarah invited us to spend some time together after class. It's so nice that you made friends in such a small amount of time. And it's good that Rachel is one of my students. Well, and Sophie too, of course. Hello, parents. I have something for you. I bought movie tickets. <sighs> Whoa, great. I was just thinking about that. Family out into the movies. Um, what movie are we going to see? Uh, Sophie, I don't have a ticket for you. Oh, but why is that? I also want to go to the movies with you. Well, looks like Rachel must have bought the last ones. No, I just decided to buy three tickets. Um, Rachel, the whole family's going to the movies. Dang, it didn't work. Okay, I have one more ticket here. Excellent, then let's get ready for this. Woo to be honest, I've never been to the movies. We're gonna come here often, my dear. Look how many little things Rachel bought for me to eat. He chose lots of things. Okay, now I'm ready for the movie. Um, can I have some popcorn, please? Oh, go and buy your own. But you already know, I have no money for that. Rachel, share it with Sophie. Oh, hello. You came too? This is a weird coincidence. Of course, we didn't know that you were going to watch a movie and we didn't follow you. Oh! Uh, he's just kidding, of course. Okay, sit and don't bother us, please. Hey, Nick, are you crazy? I don't want it to suspect. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, uh, thank you. And those special effects. <laughs> and the fights. <laughs> thank you, Rachel, for inviting us to the movies. Just thank you, Rachel. Okay, Sophie, did you feel it? Yeah, the popcorn didn't taste very well. I didn't mean that. Do you feel that our parents love me more now? And someone will soon return to the orphanage she came from. Our parents love me just the same. That won't last very long, girl. Rachel, my baby. What, Dad? Well, the thing is that my friend and I want to go fishing. If you want me to go there and fish with you, I say no. I don't want to freeze sitting near some dirty water. Oh no, I mean, what a pity. Say what you want, I'm waiting. My old boat almost sunk and it's not working well. And I don't have money to buy a new one. Oh, of course, Dad. How much? Uh, $10,000. Oh, wow. What kind of boat is that? A golden one? Oh, no. It is for three people and the engine. Uh, okay, take it. Uh, thank you so much, daughter. I love you. Oh, love you. He only said that to me. <laughs> I can make an amazing boat for dad myself. I don't need any money. I'm 
I'm going to make the best boat in the world for my dad, and it's not the only thing I can do with cardboard. Hey, Steve, I don't get it. What are you doing with our savings now? No, this is mine. Since when do you have your very own savings? That money is for a new boat. Oh, you're going to have a brand new boat, and meanwhile I'll be walking in this old shoes? Hey, Louisa, I need it to go fishing with my friends. Do it from the shore, it's just the same. Ugh, okay then. It looks like my new boat has also sunk. Daddy, don't worry about it, I have a solution! Sophie, what is that thing, dear? It's a new boat for you! You see that? There's no need to buy anything, well done, Sophie! But how far will I go with this boat? It's gonna sink! Everything's fine, I checked it in the bathtub, it doesn't sink! Steve, Sophie made a lot of effort for you, say thank you! Thank you so much, my daughter! You're welcome, daddy! Uh, listen, Sophie, mommy needs new shoes too, don't you want to make some out of cardboard? Of course I want to, no problem! Hey, wait, no need, I think you're already tired! No, it's alright, I'm gonna do it! You're just... Mm. Daughter, what are you doing? I'm measuring your foot. I need to know your measurements for this. Oh, you mean the shoes? Don't you worry. I already bought some new ones. You bought them? Okay, but mine would have been better. And I don't doubt it. I just didn't want to bother you. But thank you anyway. <sighs> Um, Dad's taking his time to arrive. He should already be back home. Oh, Sophie, thank you, dear daughter. The boat was super. You know, it turns out that cardboard doesn't really like water. But I had checked it in the bathtub. Uh, are you sure you invited them? Of course. I even sent them the address. Here's the message. Uh, and where are they? Maybe they are not coming. Okay, let's wait a while. Mom, Dad, I'll go... Uh, what's that? It's the boat. And this costs $10,000? How much? Stop right there! <sighs> Rachel, are you leaving? Uh, Sarah and Nick invited me to a party. Oh, that's great. Uh, they invited only me. What? Seriously? Yeah, they said that... Oh, never mind, but they only invited me. <sighs> oh, she finally arrived. Uh, where's Sophie? Uh, she didn't want to come here. She said that she wouldn't be friends with people like you. With people like her? And what is wrong with us? Uh, I don't know, but that's what she said. <laughs> Everybody loves Rachel for her money, <laughs> even all her classmates, <laughs> and my parents too, <laughs> I don't want to go back to the orphanage. <laughs> What's wrong? It's nothing, just something in my eye. Oh, the guys threw such an amazing party. It's a shame you weren't there with us. I don't care, I didn't want to go. Uh-huh, whatever you say. Yeah, I don't really like parties. I better stay and read all my books. <sighs> but read quietly. Have a good night. <laughs> Oh, look there, she's here. We're not gonna talk to her because she doesn't like people like us. I don't want to talk to them today. You know what? I want to ask her anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Uh, Sophie, listen, what is wrong with us? I'm not going to talk to you guys. Wait, are you the one who doesn't want to talk to us? But you're the ones who don't want to talk to me at all. After yesterday, we're the ones who shouldn't talk to you. Well, you're the ones that don't want to be my friends. We? What do you think that girl? Then why was Rachel invited to your amazing party and I wasn't? But we had invited you to the party too. 
Yeah, I wrote it in the message I sent to Rachel. Come with Sophie. Yesterday, she told me that you guys hadn't invited me. And she also told us that you didn't want to come to our party. But I wanted to. I don't understand anything. I understand that's how Rachel is. Dang, sorry, Sophie. If I'd known, I would have prayed to you. It's okay. I'm used to people giving all their attention to Rachel. Uh, let's throw another party just for the three of us. Thank you, my friends. Hello. Well, how are you guys after yesterday's party? Oh, uh, I got it. Sophie told you everything. Well, yeah. That's not nice, just so you know. Oh my goodness, guys. Don't you tell me what I can do. Hey, friends, there's no need to protect me from her. I'm used to her being a spoiled brat. That's not right. She wanted us to fight with you. Oh, why do you care about her at all? Nobody wants to be friends with this poor girl anyway. Do you see what she does? The fact that you have lots of money doesn't mean that everyone wants to be your friend, you know? Well, generally it does. We're gonna have a new amazing party and you won't be invited. Oh, what a pity. That was sarcasm. Rachel, you did a lot of bad things, but this one? I decided to invent a new strategy, just to change a bit. You're so evil, girl. <laughs> well, that's who I am. Okay, I'll try to talk to the guys so that they don't get too mad at you and they don't hate you. Oh, I don't need that. Hello, girls, is that you? Yeah, mom. I've come up with something new and I think you're gonna like it. And what is it? We are going shopping. Oh, perfect. I haven't been shopping in a hundred years. Are you a hundred years old? You look so much younger, mom. Sophie, you know, it's just an expression. It will be amazing, Rachel. For me too. Sophie, why do you want to go? You don't have money to buy things. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, you can go without me. Uh, Rachel, Sophie's going with us. You'll both help me choose the clothes. Oh, I'd really like to do that. I noticed that. Well, this is the fanciest store in the whole town. All the stars buy clothes here. Oh, that's great. Maybe we'll run into some of them today. Yeah, there are so many clothes here that I don't know where to begin. Mom, you can choose anything you want. Oh, listen, everything's so expensive. Don't worry about that. I brought enough. Oh, yeah, Rachel can buy everything she wants. Oh, what do you think about this dress? I love it. Oh, daughter, have you seen the price tag? That's not a problem. Go try it on. See how easy it is to capture mom's attention and her love? Oh, it must feel good when they love you only for your money. Yeah, it feels good. Then what would happen if you didn't have money? <laughs> That's unlikely. But you don't have unlimited money, right? Are you sure about that? Maybe. What, really? Do you have unlimited money forever? Well, how does it look? Hey, mom, that dress is made specially for you. Yeah, mom, you look amazing. Take it. Um, Rachel, are you sure? It's very expensive. Expensive? You haven't seen the expensive ones. Thank you, daughter. What if we pick out something for Sophie now? Oops, I haven't brought that much money here. All right, well, we'll do it next time. I'm going to pay. But your money's unlimited. I don't want to buy anything for you, sis. Don't you get it? You're such a bad sister. Steve, hey, how do I look? Oh, whoa, who's this beautiful princess? <laughs> it's me, Steve. Don't say you don't recognize me. I recognize you. I mean, you look magnificent. Listen, you gotta know how expensive it was. Rachel bought this dress for me. Do you know how much it costs? Oh, whoa, are you serious? Yeah, where did she get so much money from? We're very lucky that we adopted her. Well, yeah, you're right about that. You see, someone's also thinking about money. Well, I wouldn't say I normally think about Don't it. Don't worry, I know how great it is to have it in your hands and think, what do I want to spend it on? I wish Sophie was just as rich so we could live without working at all. 
Ouch. That's not the reason that we love them for. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, what is this here? I'm leaving this house. I want to find another family. And why would you do that? Our parents love you much more than me. I heard them. That's how they feel. <laughs> My gosh, but I told you this was going to happen. I know. You were always right. Money's important. They would like me to be just as rich as you are. But I don't have that much money. That's why I'm leaving. Because I don't want to upset them. It's good that you finally understood it. Say goodbye to our parents for me, please. No problem. Rachel, thanks again for the dress. It's truly splendid. You're very welcome. I would do everything for my dear mother. Hey, where's Sophie? Ah, she left. Uh, for how long? We're gonna have dinner soon. Forever. What did you say? I don't get it. What do you mean by that? Well, she packed her bags and went back where she came from. <sighs> oh, Sophie, did you miss this place? Did you decide to visit us? No, I left Steve and Louisa. Sophie, did something happen? It's a very long story, but this way's better. I'm sorry, Sophie. I thought that you would be very happy with them. Sophie, my daughter, why did you leave us? We were extremely worried. It's better this way. Why do you think that way? You guys love Rachel more than me. Do you see that? She doesn't want to come back. Let's go. Wait a sec. Sophie, who told you that we love Rachel more than we love you? I heard you say that you were very lucky because Rachel is an extremely rich girl. Uh, yes, we're lucky, but that doesn't mean we love her more than you. But you yourself said it's a pity that Sophie's not that rich. That's not what Steve meant to say with that. Uh, yeah. We love you too, equally. Really? It doesn't matter if you girls are poor or if you're rich. We'll still love you the same. Would you really love me if I didn't have money? Of course we would. When we adopted you, we didn't know if you were poor girls or if you were rich. Well, that's very good to know because the money I had is all gone. What? How is it all gone? I spent so much lately that I didn't notice it was running out. Dang it. I mean, we don't care about that at all. Sophie, let's go home now. Now we're both poor, sis. Yeah, what a bliss. 